everyone. The snow has melted, the weather's gotten warmer, and as they say, spring has sprung. Today, I'll be taking you guys along with me throughout a spring day in my life with the horses here at Firefly Fields. I just finished jumping Teddy since it is just beautiful outside today. Speaking of Teddy, he and I have an event coming up very soon, which is why we were getting some training in. I'm sure many of you are familiar with the Jorvik Equestrian Festival and their three-day invitational. I will be attending alongside Teddy, so we've been doing a lot of schooling lately to prepare. That'll be its own video though, so moving on, I'm going to take Teddy to the pasture so he can relax after having such a busy morning. The horses got fed a little while ago, so I'm pretty sure there will be a few horses out there as well. Alright bud, have fun! What was that? Not again! Lilith, get over here! I feel like every barn has that one horse that loves to cause mischief just for the fun of it, and for us, Lilith is that horse. Her lease with one of our barn members recently ended and wasn't renewed, so she's back to belonging to Firefly Fields. We're using her as a lesson horse, but even then, I guess she isn't receiving as much attention as she used to because she's decided to become a master escape artist. Let's hope Lilith's satisfied with the chaos she's already created and won't cause any more today. It's been a while since you guys really got to see how Bingo is doing, so I figured I'd bring you along with us to do some lunging. Depending on how it goes, maybe we'll do some liberty afterwards too. We're all done, Bingo did amazing. We didn't lunge for too long since long lunging sessions can strain a horse's joints. I found this to be an especially useful activity for helping improve communication and trust between Bingo and I. And while we still have a long way to go, I've seen him make so much progress in the last few weeks. He isn't too tuckered out yet, so like I mentioned earlier, we're going to do some liberty! Bingo is definitely claustrophobic due to his past trauma, and he appears to be more comfortable doing things outside as opposed to inside. I've noticed that he seems to really enjoy the freedom and openness that comes with doing liberty, so it's something we've been doing somewhat often. I mean, just look at him! Doesn't he look so cute and happy? gush about how nice the weather was this morning? I totally jinxed it. What you just saw was me outside cleaning tack because, you know, spring cleaning and getting pelted by freezing raindrops. Okay, maybe that's a little bit of an exaggeration. It was only sprinkling, really, but still. The rain came completely out of nowhere, so I had to rush to bring the horses inside before the lightning and thunder started. While we wait this bad weather out, I'll give you guys some updates on barn renovations. As many of you know, Firefly Fields is owned by my grandmother, and after a recent decline in her health, I decided to leave my home in Jarlaheim and move here with Teddy to help her manage the stables. 
This place is decades old and quite frankly a little outdated, both in its decor and the products it uses. I'm the type of person that loves to decorate, as I'm sure you can tell by what I've done with the place. I plan on staying here for the foreseeable future, so of course I had to decorate it a little more to my liking. Not all the changes have been superficial though. A ton of our new products, specifically our new feed and grooming products, are from Fawn Lake Equestrian. Thanks to the FLEC, the horses' diets have gotten a major upgrade. With plenty of feed options tailored to specific horses' needs, Fawn Lake Feed provides each horse with the nutrition they deserve. I'm so, so grateful to be an FLEC ambassador and I'll have their Instagram linked in the description. I was honestly hoping the rain would stop by the time I was done sharing updates with you guys, but it sounds like it's still going strong. I guess I'll reorganize the tack room while we wait. While tidying up the tack room, I heard a loud bang from one of the stalls, and when I ran to check it out, I was met by Nebula. He was running around wildly, frightened by the loud thunder outside. I honestly don't blame him. He's a high-energy horse, and I'm sure being cooped up in a stall with scary sounds outside must be rather unpleasant. Luckily, I was able to calm Nebula down after a little bit and get him settled back into his stall. Next, I need to schedule vet checkups for the horses. This is a spring vlog after all, and what says spring like making sure all your horses are healthy after the cold winter? Hi, I'd like to schedule checkups for a few of my horses. There's nothing I love more than going for a hack right after it stops raining. There's just something special about the smell and experiencing that post-rain feeling with your horse. I'll be taking Peaches with me because we all know she has some attitude and behavioral issues, so I'm hoping to work on that a little bit while we're out. We'll ride a bit, then I'll dismount and lead her while we work on ground manners. It'll make more sense once you guys see what I'm talking about. So here's what I was talking about. I definitely kept Peaches on her toes and made sure she was constantly paying attention by having her halt at random. Then I dismount and lead her for a bit. Peaches is a very determined but stubborn horse and that definitely showed with some of her refusals to walk with me. However, I did bring treats which ultimately motivated her to follow me. It's the horse's dinner time now, and since you guys didn't get to see me feeding the horses this morning, I figured I'd make up for that now. Most of the horses get the everyday feed from Fawn Lake Feed, just so I don't have to repeat myself over and over and over. Everything is from Fawn Lake Feed. Mabel gets low calorie feed because, let's be honest, she's chunky. Raven and Amber get senior feed as well as joint supplements. I've been giving Teddy high calorie feed since we've been doing a ton of training lately and I want to make sure he's still getting all the nutrients he needs. I think that's it for all the horses that get specific feed. Let's hope I didn't forget anything. I can hear them getting impatient for dinner, so let's get started mixing their feed.
I've had such a busy day and I'm so exhausted, so that's where today's spring vlog is going to end. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as I loved creating it. I have so much exciting content planned for the upcoming months, so if you're interested in seeing that, consider subscribing. I love you all so much and I will see you next week. Bye!